Hey, 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 how's it going? Can you believe you made it to part three of the most advanced 1v1 Arena 2.0? If you haven't watched part one or part two, no worries, they are not necessary to complete this tutorial. In part one, I cover how to make a fully functional automated 1v1 map with all the bells and whistles with performance in mind. This is really all you need to get started. In part two, I showed you how to build a loadout selector with some brand new mechanics. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a setting selector and a background selector mechanic. No matter what your skill level is, you will be able to build this. I got you. So let's go. Immature gaming. Before we get into the tutorial, you know what to do. Please hit that like button. It actually helps me out a lot. Each of these tutorials took me over 20 hours of testing, filming, and editing. I actually built this map three times just to test out the mechanics and make sure they will all work for you guys. Also, if you guys buy anything in the item shop, please use code immature. I would really appreciate it. If you don't use my code though, just use someone else's. Do not leave it blank. If you haven't completed part one or part two of the tutorial, I will leave a link in the top right of your screen. But like I said before, completing this tutorial is not necessary. If you have had any issues in the previous tutorials or you have any issues in this one, please make sure to rewatch the video carefully. It's important not to skip any steps, even the settings or even something you think you know, unless you have advanced knowledge in creative. If you are still having issues, make sure to check out my discord creative juice. You can get help on any issue you have and also meet other creators to hang out and collab with. Last thing I would like to mention before we start is in the progress bar of this YouTube video, you will notice I add chapters. I've also done this for part one and two. I have labeled each section to help you find where you left off, especially if you haven't finished and you just need to save your place. All right, let's start building. Guys, let's get started. We got two more mechanics to finish off our map. You are going to have the most goaded, the most advanced 1v1 map pretty much out there, I think. I'm actually kind of jealous i've encompassed the most advanced 1v1 and also kind of more of a more aesthetic and more optimized version so you guys you're not going to need another 1v1 after this so anyway let's get started let's start building the setting selector and then we'll move on to the background selector all right so for the setting selector, if you've already kind of followed part two of the tutorial, you will already have these button podiums that we set up. But if not, you don't need them. Um, if you just want something real quick, you can use just the button. We're trying to make this look as best as possible. Um, I mean, you guys are going to make it look a lot better than when I make it right. So what we're going to do real quick here is grab one of these, find a spot in your map um, that's kind of empty. If you guys are following along, it looks like this uh, corner piece here is is good so we're gonna put this over here one two three all right there we go now that we got the buttons placed we need to pick our settings now this is actually pretty simple guys and this is gonna be totally up to you what settings you want in your map I'm gonna pick three random ones you can copy them if you want um, this is gonna be again totally up to you this is your map go under the creative tab under devices and we're gonna be grabbing a class selector And we're also gonna grab a class designer. All right, these work cohesively, these work together. This is basically how you can select a class, and this is how you can make the class that this selector will give you, okay? So interact with it. You're gonna choose class to switch to one, okay? Time instant, respawn, you want no, restore health, that's up to you, but you're probably gonna want yes. Keep that. The meter size doesn't matter. Volume visible off, visible in game off. None of this stuff matters, right? Now, this is the important part, okay? We, we're gonna set up a channel that basically once you hit that button, it's going to hit an item grantor and it's gonna give everyone a bullet. And those people, when they get a bullet, it's gonna send a signal to this class selector. It's gonna give them that setting that you set up, okay? So first off, we're gonna need to find what our empty channels are. So again, I know if you guys are following along, you guys might be in the 50s, 60s channels, but to actually find out what empty channels you have, go into your channel browser. Now for each setting, you're gonna need two empty channels, okay? So if you guys have been following along, you guys, yeah, you'll be in the 50s, 60s, depending on how many resets you made. I'm gonna go, it looks like we have the probably 70s open. So we're gonna use channel 70 on up. I'm only gonna be showing you three different settings, okay? So let's use 70. Now, let's interact with this again. Come on down here and change player's class to channel 70. 
All right, now let's go to the class designer up here. Um, title it. So this one's going to be no jump fatigue. Okay. Class identifier is one. Okay. Remember this right here. Class to switch to is one. You're going to want to make sure these line up. Grant on respawn. You're going to want no visible, no grant ammo. Yes. So now here's the settings, guys. Now this is where you're going to be able to customize and make whatever settings you want. I'm not going to override any of this. What don't override means is the settings you have selected in your actual game menu. These settings, these are what it's going to use. But if you select one of these, it will override it. Okay. We're looking for the no jump fatigue. Okay. Here it is. Jump fatigue off. All right. There you go all right so now we kind of have that set up we're gonna want to set up our button now now go into your devices grab an item grantor okay interact with this you're gonna want to select all players keep all all items cycle on wrap and grant we're gonna set this to 69 and then come on down here when granted you're going to set that to 70. all right is this kind of making sense come in here go under consumables grab a bullet um, and just drop one bullet in here okay okay now go to your button under interactive text you're going to want to select and write no jump fatigue and then come on down here to interactive and you're gonna to wanna to put 69, okay? You're pressing this button, it's hitting this, it's giving all players a bullet, and when they get a bullet, it sends a signal when item granted on 70. 70 is what gives you this class, right? All right, there you go. Now, real quick before we test this, I actually go back into settings real quick, make this to half a meter, and what I want you to do is I want you to turn this upside down. This will save you a headache, trust. All right, and grab these, and we're gonna move them off the map, like kind of off our play area for now. After we're all done with the settings, we're gonna move these under the map. Okay, all right, let's just test it out. No jump, see I can constantly jump, no problem. All right, all right, let's have some more settings. All right, come on back over here. What you're gonna do is multi-select these and copy them. Okay, for our next one, we're going to go into the class selector, go to switch on two, and then basically just change player, just press it twice, two channels over. Then come over to your item grantor, press it twice on the grant items, and press it twice on grant transmit on. Again, make sure you're on class two. Go under here, class identifier is two. Now, I'm gonna actually set up a low health or a clip bot, however you wanna call it. Basically, this will give one of your opponents low health, you try to get clips, you can use this. I'll title this low health. Now let's adjust some settings. So your starting health, maybe 1% and your max health, you know, you can make it 25. Starting shield, just put no shield. Um, and max shield, none. And then come on down. Remember, this was you copied this, so you have jump fatigue. So if you, you know, this is up to you, but I'm gonna put that back to don't override, okay? All right, now um, it'll work, but right now, if someone was to press this button, we have this setup to give everyone in your map this setting, and maybe for the clip bot or the health, you don't want everyone to have low health. So what I'm gonna do is you're gonna go back to this item grantor and select triggering player, okay? So now only the person that presses this button will get it. Interact with the second button now and you're gonna wanna put your title, basically what they'll read to know what the setting is and you can put low health. And the button, you're gonna wanna put to 71. And if you're unsure, just come over to that item grant here, go to the bottom and item grant when you receive is 71. Okay, again, you press this, it'll give the triggering player, not everyone, the triggering player, a bullet. And when they get it, it's going to send a signal on 72, which is hooked up to this class selector, and it will give you that class. Okay, so now you have that set up. 
let's set up a button to basically clear these settings and give everyone a fresh start okay i'm just go basically back to what you had so what we're going to do we're going to copy these one more time go to your class selector switch to three you can just hit it twice two more channels over you can come back over here to your item grander again go to all players grant item just hit over twice and hit when grant item is hit twice now we got to set up the class you can title this reset class identifier three then you're just going to want to go to um, 100 health max health and then 100 shield 100 shield and then whatever settings you've selected, like the no jump, you're gonna to wanna to come back here and put jump fatigue on. And if like you had a glider redeploy um, on or off, you're gonna to wanna to set this accordingly. But this should put us back to normal. And the last thing we have to set up is the button. Settings, reset, normal. So go back to 73 and if you're unsure of what channel just go to this item grinder all right 73 all right let's test it out okay as you see we have jump fatigue right i'm just gonna jump jump okay we have jump fatigue so you press this now you have no jump fatigue everyone in the island would have no jump fatigue okay so now i want low health i'm one shot now See that? I'm one shot. I could get smoked. And if we want everything to return back to normal, just press reset and there you go. And if you jump around, you'll notice I have jump fatigue and I have my health back. So there is the setting selectors. You guys pick whatever settings you want. You can even add more settings. This is totally up to you. It's a pretty easy mechanic. It's also necessary, I think, in these maps. All right, remember, grab these. Especially your class selectors, those are actually the most important ones, but you're going to get these under the map. Get these out of the way. Okay, now let's set up a setting selector. Just grab one of your floors here, throw it on the side. Um, we're going to go grab some walls. I know I have some down here holding this up. Um, it doesn't matter what wall you have because honestly, this is not going to show. Okay. All right, there you go. And the reason it ain't going to show is because we're going to put trick tiles on it all right press that twice equip it and throw this around the outside all right i think we got it everywhere all right now we're just going to go through here and there's only one setting you're going to have to select and that's activate on game start and do that to all of them All right, perfect. Now, what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna wanna set up some aesthetics. You know, this is gonna be totally up to you how you want it to look, but you're gonna wanna outline this box and let the fast forwarding begin. All right, now we got an outer glow. Um, I probably would recommend not putting these trick tiles on just yet before you do your little outer glow on the box. <laughs> but hey, here we are. You're gonna take your time. You're gonna make this look a lot better. All right, now we need to add our barriers. Make sure you select it twice. You're gonna need six of these. This is currently only set up for six different barriers. Um, honestly, you don't really need any more than that. All right, now let's kind of remember our orientation because this is important. We're gonna need about 11 
channels to make this work with six. If you don't have 11 extra channels, um, you're gonna have to use less barriers. Basically, each barrier is gonna take two channels. So just, just do the math on that. Right now, I have kind of the 60s and 50s open. I'm gonna start in the mid 50s. Also, if you guys want, you can delete some of your resets if you need channels. Let's, tr I'm gonna try to make this as easy as possible on you guys. Um, we're gonna have to remember some numbers. This wall will be our first wall. What we're gonna do is we'll select our barriers in a second. You're gonna want to enable to none, enable on 50, and disable on 56. Let's go to our right, none, but 51, and disable on 56. All the disables are gonna be on the same channel. None. Fifty six. So enable on fifty two, disable on fifty six. Okay, enable none, enable on fifty three, disable on fifty six. Okay, now we gotta set the top and bottom ones. Make sure this is on none. Enable 54. Enable 56. And the last one is gonna be. Put that to none. 55 enabled. And disable 56. There we go. Kind of have this set up. Um, we'll come back and we're gonna select what barriers we want in our map. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually set up the barriers under the map that we actually want for our background. So come under your map and you're gonna want six platforms to set barriers on and we'll keep them all semi-close. Let's keep these all kind of uniform so we know what we're doing. So again, go back on our devices, grab the barrier, make sure you have at least six of them. Okay, there's six, and now here's, here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna set up our barrier styles yet, we're just gonna set up our triggers and we're gonna set up some of the other settings. So you're gonna wanna start off with none. This is important, box hollow. Now guys, if you start in your map and you're frozen, you're stuck, um, and you have barriers in your map, 10 times out of 10, it's cause this setting is set to box and not box hollow, okay? Let's make the width 100, 100, 100. Now, our first one, that we're selecting, remember was this one, it starts off with channel 50 and disables on 56, so that's what we're gonna do, okay? Channel 50, disable 56. And we're gonna keep on going through and doing the same settings, none, box, 100, 100, 51, Fifty-six. Okay, keep on coming through and keep doing this. All right. Three and fifty six. Four and fifty six. Man, 
Wouldn't it be nice if you could just mass copy settings? Box hollow, 100, 155, and 56. All right, there we go. We kind of got all that set up. What we have to do now is kind of set up what our bears we want. We're gonna kind of go in order of the barriers you select from left to right to kind of our channels left to right, okay? So the first one, it's probably, let's, let's select Nebula. Our second one, let's select nebula red and again you're going to want to select which backgrounds you want you don't have to copy these exactly um, nebula green nebula purple okay and that should be four we have four there and then we have two more up here so um all right and then what we'll do is we'll probably you'll probably want a star field do the normal star field and for the last one up here if you guys want to increase your frames maybe just want all black you can select pure black do not select gloss black if you select gloss black it's going to give you actually like a silver i mean maybe you want that you can use it but it's kind of cool and not a lot of people know about this use our last one be pure black okay now let's go back down here and go in order again you're going to want to make sure these enable channel and this barrier style matches with this barrier style with its adjacent channel so again remember that if, if stuff is not lining up you need to check your channels and your barrier color so nebula okay cool there um, say okay oh man what was this one 51 I forgot what my barrier style was let's go back up here uh, oh 51 Nebula red. Okay, we know that. Okay, let me go back down here. Select Nebula red. And the last one was pure black, remember? Okay. We're kind of set up there. It's gonna look super funky in here and all that stuff, but don't worry. If you follow these settings, it won't once you start up. All right, now we got most of that set up. We need to set up the button and basically how it's going to cycle through barriers and you're gonna actually select it. So come back over here, grab a button, rotate. kind of set it up right in the middle here all right let's interact all right first things first let's check our channels again see what you're gonna need four channels for this looks like we have 57 through 60 available so that's what we're gonna use come down here and type in select background and, and press 57 all right now let's get under our map, grab another floor here. It's gonna be hard to see with all these barriers, but that's okay. Go into your devices and grab a music sequencer. Basically when you set it down, it's going to have the zone that it plays go to the right. So just remember that. Interact with it and put loop to infinite. Tempo, put it to like 30. This is gonna be the speed at which your barrier cycles through. Put like six. We can put our height to half. Toggle pulse play. I don't think you'll need activate when pause, but just put yes. And now start. We, remember we set our button up to 57. That's what you're gonna want here. If you're unsure, just go to your button. 57, okay. Come on back down. Interact with the sequencer again. And then stop, we're gonna put 58. Resume on 59. We will set up the triggers 
that are going to make this all work but first we need some triggers that are basically going to enable and disable our barriers so grab a trigger interact with it most important thing you want to be triggered by sequencer on okay you want to hear sounds and then when triggered um, this one is going to be set to 56 okay this is what disables the barriers all of them at once okay all right then just copy this trigger kind of move it a little above it and to the right you want to keep that kind of a little space so basically what's going to happen is going to disable all the barriers and then it's going to enable the one in the next sequence so we're going to make this at 50 this is the channel that we first that your first barrier is on 50 grab both of these cut them let's get these bad boys under here basically you're just going to want to paste these copy and kind of move it over a little bit and um, we're not going to be messing with the bottom trigger you're going to keep that at 56 so what happens is when you play this music sequencer it keeps hitting these triggers and it turns off all the barriers then it just enables one barrier right and then it will turn all of them off and then it'll just enable the next barrier so that's how we kind of got to set it up so all you need to do is change the top triggers channel okay then you just copy it and move on And guys, if you were in here, um, you can choose channels only and it makes things go so much quicker. Okay, so that should be six. And then if they're kind of, you know, you kind of evenly space them out, you know, as best as you can, that should be all right. You guys space them out a little better than me. It's, it's not the end of the world, but it will make it run a little more smooth. It'll look a lot better as they're cycling. All right, now the last thing we gotta do is set up the button. Basically what's gonna happen is when we press it, it's going to start this music sequencer, right? It's gonna keep playing and set to infinite. So it's just gonna keep looping, turning it I'm all off, and then turning on one barrier. We're gonna set up a sequence of triggers that's gonna enable, disable, basically making this button, every time you press it, it's going to either stop or start the music sequencer wherever it is inside of the zone. This is a little advanced, but if you follow along, it's not too bad. Like I said, it was only four triggers to do this, and you've already set up your button, and we've already set up the channels in your music sequencer. So let's get started. All you gotta do, just grab one of these triggers you already have set up interact with it press reset all all right now let's copy these settings trigger by player off trigger by vehicle off off on all this you're going to put times can trigger on this one to one turn the sounds off visible in game to no now trigger when receiving from this is going to be your button channel So 57, and when triggered, it's gonna hit 58, which is gonna start your music sequencer, okay? Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab this, copy it, go on down here and turn this back to infinite. Keep this on enable, you're gonna put enable on 59, and disable on 60. And trigger when receiving from, you're gonna keep on 57. And when trigger transmit, you're gonna put on 60. Next, you're gonna grab this, copy it, paste it, come down here, set this to disabled. You're gonna put enable on 60, disable on 59. And when trigger transmit on 59. All right, now this should work. Let's test it out. It's cycling through your backgrounds. You press it again and it will stop. Press it again, it'll start cycling again. And it will stop. So if you wanna mess with the timing, you want this a little slower, like I said, go in the music sequencer and turn the speed down. But now it works.
All right, we're not done just yet. Let's make this a little better. Go into your menu, go to devices, grab a HUD device. Type select barrier. Put time frame to off. Let's put this permanent, all right. Put top center, this is all preferential. This is whatever you want. We're gonna put this to 60. And then hide on 59. Then you can type barrier selected, whatever you can put, whatever text you want. Um, we'll put this on for three seconds. Also, on this one, make priority critical, and then we'll just change this to 59 and hide to no channel. Okay, and then let's grab a speaker. You know, let's pick a sound. Put activate on 60. You know what, I actually like this sound better. We'll do failure one. And copy it. Failure two and put this to 59. Then let's get some text. So if you just want to go get a billboard under menu, replace it. Background selector. Put that middle. Probably put an outline. You know, make make it whatever. Make it stand out. It don't matter. Background clear. All right, and then make sure you turn off the border. Also, make sure you spell it right. Select or. You guys, you can. You don't have to do this. You can put whatever text you want. This is totally up to you. All right, let's start it up. So you see the text. Select barrier. That's going to stay on the screen for everyone. Until you press that again, until you barrier selected, and then that will go away. And there you have it. There's the barrier selector, guys, and the setting selector. So, um, you guys, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Also, let me know what other tutorials you guys would like to see. These tutorials take me a long time to do, but I love helping out guys, and I love teaching people how to make really cool maps. So I really hope you guys did learn some stuff and I hope your map is amazing. Also, if you guys don't mind, if you guys followed my tutorial, would you guys just add a billboard and put hashtag immature 1v1 tutorial just to let people know how they can make their own map. Also, what's cool is if you guys make a map, please send me photos of it to my Twitter at immaturegamerx and use this hashtag. I'm gonna look at all of them, okay? It'll be cool if other people know that they can get help and make a map just as cool as you did, all right? Honestly, if you guys complete this whole tutorial, you guys are now not considered a beginner or novice mechanic. If you guys are understanding how and why these mechanics work, you are now out of that beginner phase, okay? So kudos to you. Anyway, guys, even if um, you know you had trouble or you didn't want to build this, you just like this 1v1 map, it is published, you guys. You can go play it. It fully works. It's a, it's a pretty decent 1v1 map. I wanted you guys to be able to build the best 1v1 map possible. So here's the island code. You guys can actually go play this. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for all the love and support. I really appreciate it. Feel free to leave a comment. I try and read all comments and at least give them a heart. Go ahead and press that like button. It really goes a long way. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. Also, please leave a comment on what types of videos you would like to see more on this channel. Make someone's day. I hope you all have a great week. And that is it for this video. I'm Immature Gamer, and I'm out. Hey, you're still here? Thank you so much for watching the whole video. I really appreciate it. If you don't mind, please press that like button. It goes a long way. I'm serious. And while I'm sitting here begging for likes, press that subscribe button. It would really mean the world to me. All right, I'm really leaving this time. Hope you have a great day. That's my name.